Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose of Love Loving. Back to true, bringing dark into light. Timeless read. Please take what resonates and leave it does not skip for someone else. Collect the non -persuing. Okay, I'm going to jump into this. This thing going to be really, uh, probably not going to be real long, okay? I just want to get this message out because it came out in the last reading and I felt like it needs its own reading, its own message, own video. And so I'm going to put this out because it came out the end and I just kind of want to close. I realize my videos upload faster when it's around 30 minutes, okay? So, um... At the end of the last video, it came out as, like, it was about Rico crimes, okay? There was Rico crimes. Somebody's getting charged with Rico crimes. This defendant had been looking at this person. You could have been in a relationship with somebody that was involved with organized crime, involved with some kind of dangerous situations, racketeering, drug cartel, whatever it is. You, you were doing something. And at the end of the reading, it said that you could be getting interrogated or been interviewed, okay? You could have been pulled into, you know, the police station, the feds, into an interrogation room, into an interview, and being asked many, many questions, okay? And at the end, Spirit, I was told to tell you guys that you need to speak the truth, okay? You need to tell the investigators the truth, okay? Because if you lie to a, a, a federal agent, it's a felony, okay? Lying to a federal agent, it's a felony. But not just that. Even lying to a cop, you can get charged, okay? Why you do not want to be lying to the feds or the cop and you need to speak the truth is because if you are not involved in this and you've had a really, really good life and you have been not been no trouble your life's you know been going well you don't need to begin catching a charge okay spirit does not want you to be catching a charge for somebody that would not catch a charge for you okay because this person that they're asking you about that they're inter inter interrogating you about questioning you about would throw you under the bus so freaking fast okay throw you under the bus so fast they would not stick up for you okay if roles switched and they're being interrogated about you they would snitch on you in a blink of an eye to get themselves out of trouble okay they throw you under the bus they would tell the feds, cops, whoever, the authorities, the person that was interviewing them, interrogating them, the truth about everything. Okay? They would throw you under the bus because they would not want to do no time. They do not feel for you the way you feel for them. Okay? Because I'm hearing you could be blinded by love or love, a trauma bond, love bombed. Okay? This could even be a family member. Okay? This could be a brother, sister, mother, father, son, daughter, whatever. They would throw you under the bus still. Spirit does not want you to take a charge for somebody that does not, that would not take a charge for you. This person would not take a charge for you or these people would not take a charge for you, okay? If you know something, you need to speak the truth. If you don't know anything, you tell them, you know, that you don't know anything, okay? But if they find out that you know something, you're going to be charged as well. Accomplice, association, guilty by association, you know, lying to a fed or a cop. And you don't want that because you, I'm hearing something about you have nothing on your background, okay? You have a clean background. You got messed up in a bad situation with bad people. You fell for somebody that was a bad boy, bad girl, okay? You fell for somebody that you thought that truly cared about you, but they don't. They also possibly want you to take the fall, okay? They want you to lie for them to get out of a charge as well. So they, will, they won't lie for you. They would snitch on you, but they want you to lie for them. Do not lie for them, okay? Do not lie for them. Because you will sit behind bars. You will be charged with something. And then your whole life will fall apart. You could lose your job, your home, your family, your friends, your your whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Your reputation. Okay, your reputation as well. This person would not take a charge for you. And Spirit doesn't want you to take a charge for them. You have a long life ahead of you. This, and this this relationship was just it was it was fun and games, it was fun and games. You were the bystander. You were the you were the person that was easy. You could have been an easy target. I'm also hearing that if this is the case too, they they could have told the authorities. They could have told them that you were their alibi. Okay, you were their alibi. Do not be lying about that. Okay, if they're asking if you're the alibi and you were not the alibi, if you were not with them at that moment in time, you need to tell the authorities the truth. Because if you are, if you tell the authorities that you are their alibi and then they actually find out that you are not and you guys were not together, you're going to be charged. And then you're still not going to be with this person. You're still not going to be with this person. This person will be locked up, you're going to be locked up. Or this person's going to be out fucking around with other people and you're going to be locked up behind bars. Because you got caught. Or because they had somebody else helping them. This person has people. Okay, they have help. Because it was Rico charge. This is somebody that is in some dark, dark, evil criminal activity, okay? Bad activity, okay? Stuff that you don't need to be going down with for. It's not your responsibility to protect every single human being. It's not your responsibility to lie for people either. 
to protect him by lying. Protect you need to protect yourself. You need to put yourself first because if you're if you're lying on this person, you're you're putting you're you're putting them first before your own needs, before your own life. And you may have I'm hearing you could have children, you could have family. You could already have family. You could have you could have a good job. And you just want to throw that away for somebody that doesn't even give a crap about you. That you're just another fish in the pond. They get out, they go to a next female or a male. And do the same thing to that person. You don't want that. And you don't need that. You you want somebody or need somebody that loves you, truly, truly loves you. They're saying if it would be a different story if they would take a charge for you, but they won't take a charge for you. They would not. They would give you up so freaking fast. They give you so fast. And there's a train going by. That's a confirmation right there. Okay. This person will give you up so fast. If you got, say you got caught up in something by accident or you did something that you, you, you made a mistake. Okay. There's a train. That's a confirmation. This, see, I wasn't going to do another reading. I was actually, was just going to go hang out with my daughters tonight. But I pulled that in and spirits like get this out there because somebody needs to know that. If you got caught up and say you got caught up, you did something that you shouldn't have done. Okay. You broke the law. And then that you're dating this person and authorities talk to them. The cops, the investigators, feds talk to this person. They would tell the feds, cops, they had nothing to do with it. And you had everything to do with it. You, they didn't have nothing to do with it. They blame it all on you. Okay. They blame you for it all. They wouldn't say, oh no, it was me. Oh no, they didn't do that. They would not be an alibi for you. Okay. They're false. They're fake. Spirit saying, move away from them. Look at, get away from them. The train's going by. It's, it's getting away from them. You need to get away from this person or these people. They could be threatening you too. Okay, if they're threatening you, make sure you tell the authorities that you were threatened. Tell them that you were blackmailed, threatened. If they were threatening you, saying that you need a lie for them, you need to tell the authorities because the authorities possibly can protect you. Put your witness protection or put some detail on you or make sure you're protected. I know some people, you know, sometimes yeah, everyone's like saying, oh no, you can't, you can't. Okay? Because I'm hearing something about you could have been threatened as well. But if you're speaking the truth and because you've been living your life, you know, good and everything else and you just fell for one bad guy or one bad girl that you fell, you know, head over heels for and you you, you like the sex or you like the relationship or you thought this person was good or you just, whatever. If you tell the truth, God's going to make sure you're protected. God's not going to allow anyone to hurt you. Okay? Come try to attack you. Take you out. God will protect you. Because you're putting yourself first. Yourself, your kids, your family, whatever, first. But if you lie for these people, God's going to God's gonna allow... I'm hearing, okay, if you lie for these people or this person, God's going to allow these authorities, these detectives, these federal agents, to find out the truth and to see that you are lying. And then you'll have to do with karma and you'll just sit behind bars or be charged or have a fine. And that's not me trying to scare you or cause fear. That's me telling you the truth. So you can protect yourself. This person does not love you. This person does not know how to love. They go from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship. You are just the relationship at this time. They'll sweep you under a rug. So say, spirits tell me too, if you're lying for this person, you're going to take interrogation, you're lying for this person, you're in there. And this, then you get this person off, okay? You get this person off a charge, okay? You're thinking this person's going to get out and come home to you. They're not. They're not coming home to you. They're going home to another person. Or they're going to go meet up with other people. And they're going to think it's funny. They're going to think it's good. they got away with it. And they did. They did get away with it because they, they were able to manipulate somebody to lie for them to get them out of jail or prison, out of these charges, and then leave and be gone and go on to the next. They're narcissists. They only want what they need or they only do what they, like, what's the word? Uh, they're narcissists and so they will use and use and use until they get what they need. And when if you lie to these authorities and they let them out, they used you to get what they needed. To get their freedom. To be released. So don't be stupid. 
Don't don't be stupid. Don't lie to the authorities, okay? If the authorities come to your door, come to your house, don't lie to them. Don't lie to them for this person. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. The truth will set you free. Yeah, you might lose this person, but you're going to lose this person no matter what. Going to jail, getting out, going down to the next. Like I said, you're another fish in the you're another fish in the pond in the sea. You weren't the first one that they used. You weren't the first one that they trauma bond and manipulated to get what they needed. You weren't the first alibi. I'm hearing this could have been a relationship that they got with you because they needed you to be an alibi. You needed to be the one that was like because you had no background. You were the perfect scapegoat. You were the perfect target. They, they, this, I'm also hearing this person intentionally got with you because of your background, of a clear background. They intentionally got with you because they knew that the authorities wouldn't look at it, look into your life like they did with theirs. Or, and I'm hearing they, 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 they thought the authorities would believe what you're saying. But if you lie, God's going to show these authorities that you're lying. And then you're going to have to do time. And you don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Because see, they're trying to control you. They want to control the situation. Okay, because you're a very responsible person. The Queen of Pentacles is a very responsible, reliable person. Okay? You're reliable. You're responsible. But if you if you if you lie for this person, you get charged, you're gonna you're gonna lose your status. You're gonna lose your like your uh your reputation. People are not gonna be able to trust you anymore. People aren't gonna believe you anymore. You were always telling the truth before. You need to move on from this. Okay? You need to walk away from this. Before you dig yourself a deeper hole. Before you dig yourself into the ground. Because you're gonna end up hitting rock bottom. You need to walk away. Walk away. Yeah, see? Take a different direction. Walking away and taking a different direction. Moving moving away from this. Going in a different direction, okay? You will find the one that is meant for you. This is a karmic partnership, okay? This is a karmic lover. This is somebody that is, does not love you the way that they that you think they do. They do not love you. They're keeping a lot of secrets from you. They're very good at what they they're very good at manipulating situations and people to get what they want, and that's what they did with you. They studied you. They studied you for a while. They did research, okay? They they got details on you. They they studied what you like, what you didn't like, how you lived, or whatever. Somebody studied you. Okay? Somebody studied you. Got to know your friends, your family members, whoever they got to know things about you, read about you. Okay. They did research. They Googled you. They did background checks so they knew how to get away with it. Yeah, Spirit saying end this, okay? End this situation because of the death. Also, I'm hearing too is if they do get off, they may end up causing like trying to cause like so you cannot witness, so you cannot testify. They may end up trying to take your life as well. Or hire somebody to take your life because of this. Because they don't want you to go back. Recant your story, okay? So I'm recanting your story. Temperate spirit can have patience. Be balanced, okay? Stay balanced. We have Scorpio coming out and Sagittarius coming out. This person keeps you, this person's unbalanced, okay, as well. And you know, Spirit's saying you're going to get balanced. This thing's going to get balanced back out. You need to move away. You may actually need to physically move away. Yeah, this person's causing a lot of hurdles in your life. Okay, a lot of stress. This is stressing you out, too. So speak the truth. Just speak the truth, Spirit's saying. This person will not take a charge for you. You do not take a charge for them. They will throw you under the bus so fucking quick. This is their karma. Okay, this is their karma. They need to be behind jail. This is their karma, okay? The wheel inverted. This is, they, they're meant to go to jail, okay? They're meant to get caught up. You're not. But if you, if you lie, you're going to receive some negative karma as well.
this dark potion. This is something unpredictable. You think you're doing the right thing for lying about this or lying on this person, like telling lies, but you're not. Okay, because you're very reliable. Like I said, you're very reliable, loyal. Okay, this is a dark potion. You're very reliable and loyal. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So you are, but you don't have to be loyal to this person. This person not, will not be loyal to you. This lover's not loyal to you, so do not be loyal to this, this person. Lovers is Gemini too, I forgot to say that. Okay, this is blocked emotions. They want to keep you blocked, blinded. Blinded to love. Okay, see the light. Okay, spirit trying to show you something. Trying to enlighten you. Spirit wants you to have happiness, joy. You won't have happiness and joy if you lie. Take the fall for this person too. Tower, see this has to be a change. This person's life's falling apart. And they want you to. They had a hidden agenda. Do not lie to this authority figure, okay? King of Wands. This this authority figure wants to help you out. Okay, this I'm hearing the authority figure wants to help you. This authority figure me does not want to have to charge you. This authority figure does not want to put you behind bars because you have a good life. You have a good life ahead of you. And you just you just dated the wrong person. You just got you just hung out the wrong crowd with the wrong people at the wrong time. They want to make sure that this 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 King of Wands, this is an investigator, this is a detective's agent. They want to help you out. They understand, they they understand that you could have been vulnerable, that you, you know, blinded by love, dated the wrong person, wrong time, wrong place, and they want to do the right by you because they see that you had a really good life ahead of you. They don't want you to have to sit behind bars because of somebody else. They just don't. Okay. I know it's a tough situation because you feel like you love this person. I'm hearing feeling like you love this person. You feel like this person all that you you have. You feel like this person truly loves you. Okay, that's just love bombing. That's trauma bond. They don't. They don't. It was all deception. Look at this. Deception. Deceiving you. You're the fallback. There was attraction. They were just looking for something from you. Okay? They were just looking for something from you. They needed something from you. They needed that college degree, good job, good family, good life, never been in trouble. They needed that from you to look good on them. It was nothing but a good time to them. Okay? They were just looking for something. It was nothing but a good time. The sex was good, I said. Walk away on the bottom. Walk away. Spirit saying, walk away. You be passionate about this person. You were tired of fake love. Okay, tired of fake love. And look at it. It says, tell them. Spirit saying, tell them. And you need to separate. Okay, this is a separation. You need to get away. It's going to be hard. You're going to you're gonna feel pain. You're going to be heartbroken. You're going to cry. But you will be able to move on from this. Okay, you will be able to move on from this. If this person gets locked up, they want you to come see them in prison. Don't come see them in prison. They just want to use you. Manipulate you. See, this could have been interfering with your job. Okay, some kind of interfering with your job, showing up at your job, the cops, the feds, showing up at your job, you could lose your job. Because this person was involved with fraud. Okay, ID theft, money order, credit card. Do not give a false perceived, fake news, false report. Do not give false reports to the officers. Money theft. Is him in plain sight the whole time. 
if you have children, you don't want to lose your children over this, okay? You don't want to get CPS involved either, because I said something, I heard something about children. You don't want children involved, because this is a hitman assassin. You need to walk away from this hitman assassin. You need to put your safety first. Because this person thinks they're above the law. Controlling, security, God complex, reckless. You need to put yourself first. Okay? Asking for some kind of apologies, forgiveness. You may be asking for apology, forgiveness, second chance. This was just a sexual connection. You have responsibilities. You have to pay your bills. Okay? You get caught up. You go to jail. You lose your job. You won't be able to pay your bills. You won't be able to take care of your family. You won't be able to take care of yourself. Because they're just clout chasing. Trying to show out and shining in front of others. See, it's all individual support for them. Solo moves. See? They, it's all solo moves. They would not help you. Okay, if, if Rose switched, they would not be there for you. They wouldn't even take your call. If Rose switched and you were sitting in jail waiting, they wouldn't even take your call. Okay? They wouldn't even come visit you. They'd be out the door. They'd be gone. You'd never hear from them again, I'm hearing. You'd never hear from them again. One more. Thank you. Pisces. Family members blocking you. Blindsided, blindsided, shocked, redirection, protection, and poison. This could be a family member as well. Okay? Do not be protecting somebody. You may also have to get a good lawyer, get an attorney, okay, to protect yourself. I'll get some names and I'm going to close out. We have horsemen. We have what I promised you. I treated with a karmic and it was torn apart. See, somebody created something else with another person. Okay? They may promise you, but they weren't. They were they already creating it with somebody else. This person was already creating something else with another person in another life. Okay? St. Germain. Sending master may be communicating with you. Quartz. You may need some quartz. I have quartz in my shop. Play quartz. This person may sleep with men. Men sleep with men. Okay? Maybe bisexual. Sleep with another person. You were just the fallback. Like, okay, so you, if you're the female and this, this is a man, this man can be sleeping with another man just to and sleep with you so they didn't know that he's gay or bi. Bennett. Yoga. State hospital. Somebody may go to state hospital. Touring. Yeah, see, they're touring. Somebody may be out touring and, like, being with other people and, like, whatever, you know? Dexter. Said Sedona, Arizona. Spider-Man. Myrtle Beach. I said that last reading. Myrtle Beach. Honeysuckle, Columbia, or somebody could be Colombian, Lopez, we have Layla, Money Money Bags is all about the money, see so money, greed, power, Stephanie, Rodriguez, someone drives a Durango, a Dodge Durango, Milwaukee, Heathens, AT&T phone service, at t Capricorn, Alexandria, they may be called Big Daddy, Courtney, Becky and Dantel. Dantel. Okay. I'm going to grab one of these to close out. See, because they have them on surveillance camera. So if you give them an alibi or you say something, they already have this person with somebody else. So you're lying. They have it on surveillance camera. Cameras will provide valuable clues. So don't get caught up in lies because they already have it recorded. Okay, they have this all recorded. They want to see if you're lying for them. You're going to take the blame for them or take the fall. Multiple people were involved. Okay? That came in last reading too, this one. This killer will murder again. This person's going to do it all over again. Okay, they'll do it all over again. They'll hurt you. They'll betray you. They'll do other things to other people. They don't love anybody. They don't even love themselves. If they, anything, they love themselves, but they don't truly love themselves because they, they don't care. You're going to grieve over this person, okay? You may grieve over this person, okay? Because it's an ending. It's a death, okay? Feels like they're dead to you. Walking away because, yeah, see? Grieving over this love. This is what will happen. You'll be cursed. You'll be cursed if you lie for them, okay? You have generation curses. Things will happen to you, happen to your family, happen to your kids. If you try to take a charge for this person, flight, see, and they'll try to get away. Okay, they're going to try to get away. You you need to get away. The call. It's forbidden. 
don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, maybe receiving a call. Okay? Or a spirit's telling you, answer the call. Listen. Listen to what spirit's telling you. Spirit is trying to tell you something, okay? Don't take a charge to her, nobody. Nobody. Spirit says nobody. Not even for your own kid. Okay, don't even take a charge for your kid. Some of these, I'm hearing something about kids. This could be a kid, too. Don't take a charge because this kid's not going to take a charge for you. This kid's going to walk away and do it all over again. You need to worry about yourself. Protect yourself. I'm going to take those two and then done. We have 15, 15. Change opportunities coming into your life. Love, romance, pay attention. Then we have 9, 11. Look at, see, the call. 9, 1, okay, light worker. Angels are close to you. They are protecting you and helping you achieve your goals. Soulmate, twin flame connection, trust connection. Highly karmic and spiritual number encourages you to pursue soulmate mission as a light worker. You may feel like it's a twin flame. This ain't a twin flame. I know it's coming out, but you have a twin flame. You have somebody else that's coming in and that was supposed to be meant to be with you. This person's not. This person is not. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus, and number three. I love you. Love, peace, light, healing, namaste.